person's professional image, I think I can list them as two major ones. That's um, the visual and the behavioral. And when I say the visual, what I mean here is, is, is how you're dressed for the occasion. And you should know for each occasion how to dress. If it's in business, you should dress according to the business that you're in. And um, that gives the person the feeling that you are going to meet, you're going to approach, oh well, yeah. This person is about business. And the second thing is behavioral. And a lot of that comes, I would say, in your body language. How do you approach them? Are you smiling? Uh, or are you aloof? Or do you look too serious? Have you met the person's eyes? Have you looked into the person's eyes and greeted them? Or were you shy and looked to leave? Uh, the nonverbal is very, very important. People look at that and and have their own perceptions of how you are and, and, and what the interview or the interaction will turn out to be. So those, I would say, are the two main elements of any, um, of an image, of a professional image. Know what your business is about, your company is about. Uh, as I said, consult someone who is trained in the area of um, imaging the internet, read, care about what people, the people's perception of you, take note of um, when someone speaks to you, what, what, are, what are their reactions, what are they seeing or say, saying or feeling. Take note of that. And if you're getting a specific negative, often um, take time to uh, look into that and see how you can um, better yourself. So ask that question of a professional. As I alluded to earlier, you need to get the attention of the person that you would like to employ you, buy your product, and how do you do this? It's the packaging. It is the first impression. How are you dressed? How did you approach that person? Were you smiling? Were you warm? Uh, so I cannot know what you're competent in if I am not initially interested in you. You have to get my attention first. And the only way you get my attention is to show me, give me a visual of who you are before you can express your skills to me. Everyone, male or female, no matter what type of profession they're in, be it the white collar or the blue collar, would benefit from um, information from an uh, image consultant. However, I, I would say that a person in, the, in, let's say, the media or our government, someone who is dictating or presenting to the general public on a daily basis will need more than, let's say, the mason who comes to my door to help, help me do something will need more. Because the mason, I will have a judgment on the mason as well if he's not well presented if he doesn't have a pleasant body odor, of course I will have a judgment there. However, the person who is in the media who um, dictates or t tells me this is the way I should be or I have to look up to them will need a lot more. ...of um, a young lady working in an office. I guess I can say I am a lot more corporate. And an older person, for a younger person, it's a nice long sleeve uh, top. Not a lot of cleavage showing, which is so very important. Also her hair, a lot of young people like to wear their hair open, down. But what is very important is that it's not covering her face. So you don't have this curtain of hair when you're interacting with, with the person. So I would say this is, um, Chelsea is wearing her hair correct. She's wearing a uh, long sleeve. So this will be nice no, and two, very subtle makeup, not overly done. 
just um, one earring, not the several piercings, not nose rings and chin. I, I'm not sure there are lots of little piercings all over the face and a tongue ring and, and things like this. Also, uh, she's not wearing a lot of jewelry on her fingers, a lot of bracelets, because these could be very um, distracting, ching, 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 and stuff like that. Also very important is the length of Chelsea's skirt. She's young, and if you look, her skirt is still a, a decent length. Because you have to remember, when you sit, it's going to come up straight. I would like you to look at Chelsea's shoes. They're enclosed with a modest heel. Now, um, while they're enclosed, there's nothing wrong with wearing a peep toe. But if you're going to wear shoes with the toes open, the backs should be enclosed. You shouldn't have the backs and the toes open. That's too casual and it sort of takes away from your posture and the way you walk. So it is a lot better to have um, enclosed shoes or just the, the toes open. You can wear a sling back as well, but not completely like a vamp. It, it wouldn't uh, be suitable for work, not at all. The song that Chelsea is wearing, I would say, is definitely inappropriate for any type of business, be it corporate or a more relaxed business atmosphere. This is what I would say is not even casual Friday. <laughs> this is not dress down Friday. This is party Friday. And we can start with her hair. Uh, Chelsea's hair, there's too much of it in her face. So it doesn't give a serious um, or business-like image. It's too playful. And actually, if you look, her bra strap is showing very, very inappropriate, in my opinion, for any occasion, because your undergarment is exactly that, under. It should not be showing. And um, the necklace she's wearing is too much, very overstated for her work. Again, distracting. These are things that would distract the client. The client will want to listen to you and information you're sharing with them. This is going to take away from it. And now the top is quite appropriate if we can have the bra hidden. Chelsea's skirt one, it's a print. The print is not bad um, for the work environment, but it's mainly the length. It is way, way too short. Imagine when she sits, how much higher that is going to come. And ladies tend to like to lap their legs, and again, very inappropriate. Now the shoes. Um, what should I say about these shoes? Definitely, definitely not appropriate for work. Um, they're pretty, and you see all the straps and the height, and also I, I see a lot of young ladies wearing these, and they're not even um, able to walk comfortably in them, which takes away from their posture. And uh, the nail polish is very pretty, but again, inappropriate for work. One other thing I forgot to mention that Chelsea is wearing, if you look, she has a nose ring in. That is a no-no for a professional image. Uh, I know we are in the 21st century and we are changing, but we have to be careful how much changing we do. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a nose ring or tongue rings, or but it's time and place. And this is not suited for the work environment. So just limited amount of jewelry, limited amount of makeup so you can get to the matter of the business and be serious.